In this video, we are going to take a look at Wix and Wix site speed. And we are going to improve the site speed on this Wix website. This is a typical Wix website, and I'm very excited to see how it performs and how good we can make it. So before we start working on this site, we need to take measurements and confirm the current site speed. And at the end of the video, we will see how much we have improved the site speed. And we start in GT metrics. And by the way, you should always take two tests to make sure that the result is consistent. And we get an E. This is not good, but we take a screenshot of the page so that we later can compare it to the results. Uh, we do also take another test in Google Insight. So we can now confirm that the site speed is very low on this site. So how do we go on to fix it? The first thing I recommend that you do is to turn off any page transitions. In Website Editor, you can find Site Design on the left-hand side of the screen. Under Page Transition, you click Customize, and you click None. We then publish and save these changes. Another thing you can't do is to turn on manual cache. The problem with turning on manual cache is that it might only improve the site speed of visitors that have already visited your site. To turn on manual cache, we click menu and pages in the website editor. We click site menu. We click the page we want to apply this change to and click settings. We then choose advanced settings. It might, uh, it might be closed like this. So we turn on the slider and we set this to maximum time. But again, this is not something everyone should do. And this will only increase the site speed for people that have already visited your site. You should not use more than two or three text fonts on your entire website. Preferably, we should use HTML fonts. The reason for why you should limit the use of fonts is because Wix has to load in a new font pack for every font you have, and that slows the page down. What I recommend that you do is set the text you want under Site Design and click Customize. Here we click Text, and we can set all the text we need right here. And again, I recommend that you set HTML fonts. And one more thing, text effects. Avoid using it if you want a fast website. And when I say text effect, this is what I mean. Animation does also slow down your website. And you can have animations on everything in Wix. You can see if animation is activated if this button lights up. So I turn off any animations I have on my site. Also, do you need all the elements on your website? Having too many elements can really slow down your website and confuse the customers. Believe it or not, customers likes to know where to click. But remember to give them a few choices, otherwise they won't stay for long. We can also limit the number of product we display. We have two options to do it. We can limit the number of rows, or we can create a collection. We do also need to talk about lightboxes. You see, lightboxes can slow down your page, but it can also trick the website testers into thinking that the lightbox is an element and give you a lower side score. I recommend that you set the lightbox timer to between seven to 14 seconds, or you can set triggers. To change the lightbox settings, we go to menu and pages, and at the bottom here you find light boxes. Click on the one you want to edit, and here we can set triggers, and under setting you can choose which page you want to display the light box on, and how long, and how long the timer should be. And background images. Surprise, surprise, but background images can also slow down your website. If you decide to use background images, I recommend that you stick to one image on each page. This is how you do it. You go into site design and choose backgrounds and you click customize. Here you can choose between a color, an image or a video. What we have on this page is a section background. You can turn a section background on and off by clicking on the section and click change section background. Here we also get the same options as we did earlier. But this time we want to turn off the background, so we click None. 
and images. Make sure that the images are in the recommended size and it's in the JPEG format. Please don't use PNG. It really kills the size speed on your site. And these are all the things we are going to do to improve the size speed on this Wix website. So it's time to test it again and see how it's performing. Let's see. And we get an A in GT metrics. That's fantastic. We get a 99% in performance and we get a 96% in structure. Very good. And in page insight, we get 95% and that is very, very good. This is more than acceptable on a Wix website. I think we end the video here. Make sure to check out our Wix course. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.